15rounds.com, you're with former super middleweight world champion Alejandro Barrio, as well as trainer Lenny De Jesus, who will be translating. Alejandro, you were at one time a champion, uh, had a loss to Lucien Butte, and we haven't really heard from you since. What's been up? Este, tú fuiste campeón y te perdiste con la pelea de usted. ¿Qué es lo que tú estás está esperando ahora? ¿Qué es lo que te ha pasado en el tiempo que tú estás afuera? Mira, en el tiempo, o sea, en el tiempo que yo, donde yo estaba a buen Ignacio, me di cuenta que uno usador, o sea, perdí mi fama, tiene no más entrenado por problemas que pasé. Well, he's, uh, he's trying to make a comeback. He's been out for two, three years, and he's always uh, staying in shape and uh, trying to make a comeback. Right now, you're still fighting in the super middleweight division, the last I know, that's one of the hottest divisions in boxing. How closely have you been following the Super Six, and how do you feel you'll match up against some of the top fighters, uh, such as the guys in the tournament? El nivel de ellos, me pongo un nivel más alto que ellos, un poquito más alto por la experiencia que yo tengo y porque no veo que hay boxeadores, o sea, de mi de misma calidad, no veo. He uh, feels that uh, he has a little confidence that he'll do good with the competition there because he, he's a little, uh, let's say, uh, one point above them. Okay. So you're a guy who has proven that he's a vicious puncher. You've had some great knockouts. Uh, one of my favorite knockouts of all time, not only from you, uh, was when you knocked out Yusef Mack. You gave him a kiss and you knocked him out. What made you do that? Well, that was, uh, the, la pregunta te dice, ¿por qué cuando tú chocaste a Yusef Mack, por qué lo besaste? O sea, cuando yo venía bajando del camerino, del camerino para el ring, ellos están gritando que, que yo era un muerto caminando, ¿entiendes? Caminando. En el momento, ese está salto como, ya vi, ya había algo en el bute que había, eh, y yo sé más que como que la huesa no era la misma, yo estaba cuidado, se me dio, pues, me dar un beso y a dormir. Cuando él llegó a bute, me hizo una pequeña comentación de que era un burnout fighter. Así so que, being that uh, they said that, uh, when he put him to sleep, I said, I give you a kiss to go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've been out for a while, as I mentioned earlier. One of the guys who you knocked out, uh, Robert Stieglitz, went on to win the title. Does it frustrate you a little bit that you scored a strong knockout like that? And, you know, since you've been out, that guy has won a title and made a name for himself in the division while you've really sat on the sidelines? Este, ¿Cómo tú te sientes con Sticker? Que él es este, un boxeador que tú chocaste y ahora es un campeón mundial y tú este, dejaste la oportunidad de pasar. ¿Cómo tú te sientes con eso? No, mira, es de, la oportunidad mía, yo me siento o sea, que el boxeo, el boxeo da tantas vueltas. El boxeo no es hoy, hoy estoy aquí arriba, hoy te tiene, pero lo bueno es que estoy con Dios, tengo una oportunidad y de o sea, campeón mundial otra vez y lo voy a hacer. Uh, he feels, you know, boxing goes around, and uh, I feel that my opportunity will come again, and I'll be world champion. You know, I congratulate uh, Stieglitz, and uh, listen, he had his chance, and uh, he became champion. I'm proud of him. Okay. You recently signed with Boxing 360. They're a new promoter. They've been moving some fighters. What is their plan for you, and when can we expect to see you in the ring again? Este, tú firmaste con una corporación nueva ahora que es 320. ¿Cómo tú te sientes con ellos? ¿Qué es lo que esperan? ¿Tú esperas de ellos? O sea, yo me siento con ellos muy bien, con, muy bien. Yo espero de ellos que me, me sigan una pelea otra vez con, con Buté, con Buté, para yo mostrarle a, a la comparación que hay mucha gente que todavía, haya, que mucha, o sea, todavía está dejando el río fuerte todavía. He, feel, he feels good with this company and uh, he wants to see if they uh, do something and go forward with him. And he's going to prove to this corporation that he's still got the. Uh, mentality and the capacity of being world champion again and he would like to get a chance back again. Hopefully this uh, 320 company will get a fight with Boutte. Do you have a date lined up or are you just waiting to see what falls into place uh, with a good fighter? We have a fight on the 18th out in Oklahoma. Uh, we're going to Oklahoma on the 18th. Uh, we're hoping to get a, uh, like a tune-up fight more okay. or less to get into contingency again. You mentioned Boutte. Uh, Boutte is a gentleman who had beat you for the title, a top fighter. Is there anyone else you have on your radar in the super middleweight division? You know, maybe a guy like Carl Frock, who's a guy who likes to talk a lot and has an exciting style, or Andre Ward, who's really considered the cream of the crop in that division? Este, ¿Cómo tú te sientes? Ya que usted te ganó, este, este, los boxeadores de los de Super 6, ¿qué te gustaría a ti pelear? ¿Con quién te gustaría? Con, con cualquiera, con cualquiera boxeador que estuvieron 
He feels confident, he feels good, and uh, he'll compete with anybody that is there. Former world champion Alejandro Berrio, Lightning, we thank you for translating. Would you like to add anything in closing to all your fans around the world and the people tuning in on 15rounds.com? Uh, he gives uh, thanks to the public and everything that he feels that he will prove again that he will become world champion again.